I did a little criminal law, but for the most part, I was in corporate litigation, which I have to tell you, Jose, does not provide a lot of those moments. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> it's big business. It pays the bills. Um, you don't get particularly rich necessarily going into criminal law. It pays the bills in corporate litigation. But it all felt like such paper pushing and defending big faceless corporations. And it's no wonder so many people leave like I did, as opposed to somebody like you who stays in it lifelong. Because it doesn't have, it doesn't press the same moral buttons. Oh, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I, I, I'm general counsel for a couple of uh, major corporations and, and where I manage their litigation. But the reality is it's, it's harder to touch the individuals that way uh, when you're dealing in business. And but but like I said, you know, I, I get in, I've got into this business for two reasons. One, because not everyone who uh, who gets arrested is guilty. And two, those who did make mistakes sometimes should not pay for it for the rest of their life. And Gabriel Brown is a perfect example of that. Here's a man who mm-hmm. accepted responsibility for what he did, but there were reasons behind it that one can understand. Uh, he didn't harm anyone during those robberies. Uh, he put people in danger and he was incredibly sorry for that, but he sacrificed so much for our country and for our system of justice to turn their back on him and other veterans is is shameful 